I'm Rhonda Schaffler. A mega merger could be in the making between Pfizer and Allergan. I'm Jane King. MasterCard's revenue was hit by rebates and Aetna benefits from an increase in medical costs. And I'm Scott Gam. A slowdown during the third quarter with GDP coming in less than expected. Well, stocks did open the day lower today. Aetna, though, topped earnings expectations and raised its guidance. Aetna agreed to buy Humana in July as a flood of mergers in the industry take place. Aetna joined a growing list of health insurers topping Wall Street's quarterly profit expectations, and it did so despite higher taxes and a number of acquisitions. Now, MasterCard, though, saw its revenue hurt by rebates and incentives to card members. Its earnings, however, topped expectations. Scott? And Jane, we've got one stock that reported after the close last night that's tumbling this morning. Yes, the picture not so clear for GoPro. In fact, the stock starting the day at its lowest points. It's becoming a public company last year. Now, the company blamed the miss on lighter than anticipated sales and a $19 million charge from lowering the price of the Hero 4 Session. That's the first camera which was aimed at regular consumers rather than its usual daredevil clientele. And Rhonda, a mega deal in the pharmaceutical space could be in the works. That's right. This deal is potentially so big, it's hard to wrap your head around it. Reports are that Pfizer has held early talks with Allergan to create a $330 billion pharmaceutical giant. This would be by far the biggest takeover of the year. If Pfizer makes a bid, it would be its second recent attempt to acquire a rival. Last year, Pfizer tried to buy AstraZeneca. Now, in terms of this later report, neither Pfizer nor Allergan are commenting on some of this merger chatter this morning. Elsewhere, no move on the interest rate front yesterday from the Fed, but there is new data out today, and those policymakers, Scott, I'm sure will be looking that over. That's right, Rhonda. Third quarter GDP coming in a little soft, rising 1.5%. Now, economists were looking for a 1.7% jump, and the print was much less than the second quarter when the economy expanded 3.9%. Now, we saw some softness in inventories during the quarter, and Companies scale back spending on buildings, but consumer spending, which makes up two-thirds of GDP, rose 3.2% after rising 3.6% during last quarter. Meanwhile, the number of people applying for unemployment benefits rose by 1,000 for the week ending October 24th, 260,000. So, Rhonda, all eyes, of course, are on the Fed's December meeting, so it's safe to say that every piece of economic data over the next six months will be scrutinized extra carefully. Yep, we also have out of Washington some other news, a budget deal, and the GOP votes to install Paul Ryan as its leader later today. And after the close today, we'll hear from Starbucks. And investors expected to brew up another solid quarter. Investors may get a taste of how the company's mobile order and pay app is doing. Rhonda? And that's it for us. Keep checking in with thestreet.com for news and analysis throughout the day.